Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Sorry I hadn't been on in a few days. I've been working on this chair, but um, also every morning I just catch up on emails. And I watch some of the videos, and I guess I just hadn't felt led to share one or anything from Dawn's email. A couple of the messages seem to have spoke straight to me, though. It was pretty amazing. One was to rest and rest and relaxation or something like that. Anyway, I've just been really tired lately, I think, from um, the puppy, the extra activity with that, and then trying to do this chair. And um, I'll show it to you when it's all finished. Anyway, I'm just doing a little bit each day, and some days I don't touch it at all just doing what I can but I'm going to show you this share with you this channel I guess someone showed it to me in an email his name is Troy Black um, his description box says the experts are telling us that we should be nervous about the current state of the economy but there's a good reason you don't have to worry I believe the Holy Spirit showed me a lie about our economy that is holding many believers hostage. To be free of this lie, we must understand that there is a real difference between the world's economy and God's economy. In this video, I talk about that difference, and I explain the reasons why you don't have to worry, no matter how shaky the economy gets. Now, as I was listening to him, he was mentioning things like, uh, where are you laying up your treasures? Are you, uh, are you putting more money into your hobby than into the kingdom? How do you put your money into the kingdom? Well, that's easy. By helping others. But See, if you were in a church, traditionally, in days past, before Jesus started telling us to come out of the churches, you would help support the church that you believe was feeding you, so you chose to stay there, obviously. You joined, you were a member, you would tithe or donate what you could. Tithing is actually an Old Testament law. I hope everybody understands that. Nobody has to tithe, but we are to do what we can to whomever we feel we should. There's people that I talk about frequently you know other channels that, that are asking for donations for their, I guess, to support them or their ministry in some way because maybe they're, maybe they have a website that costs them every month or so. I don't know exactly, you know, because YouTube's free, but uh, some people have like uh, that screen share I was looking into that okay that's not free uh, the things you buy you pay a monthly fee or you can buy a program that helps so you can turn your your camera shows what you're talking about instead of just me I if I bought that or or bought the you lease the rights to some of it. It depends on what program. The way I understood it now. And I was like, oh, I don't know if it's worth it. And I'll just pray about it. And I, I just looked into it the other day. And I really hadn't prayed about it yet. But anyway, this guy is talking about the economy. And how so many people are saying, oh, we need to store up this and that and the other. And make sure you have enough of this on hand and that on hand. And wait. Why? Do you believe in the rapture? I mean, I know a lot of people say, well, you store it up for those left behind. Well, that's true. You can think that away if you want. 
Because you may have family members in your home that you know aren't going or you're pretty sure, you know. So I can understand you wanting to have some provisions. But the point of them being left behind is to put them through the seals so they will have to bend their will to God and let him take care of them. Anyway, that's all I want to say about that. I'm going to let you listen to this man, what God showed him, the lie about the economy. Okay, so again, uh, that God showed me this lie about the economy. If you can't see the description box and the t channel is Troy Black. Now, I don't know. This man, I haven't watched him enough. I haven't watched other videos of him to to say uh, yay or nay, God showed him or not. I just think this is a good sermon, a, a good way to spend 20 minutes. Okay? All right. And with that, I'm going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, myself, my computer, my Wi-Fi, and over each and every single one of you and your devices and uh, your internet connections. And I hope this goes up because I got a, a strike against me that said I couldn't use my channel until I go through, what they call it, copyright school. So I clicked on the link and I read all these different things about copyrights and when you can claim fair use. And it's all very quite um, doublespeak if you ask me. So I hope this goes up because I read to the bottom of that page and I didn't see where it said I agree to not do this, or I understand what I read, or, or anything. So I don't know if it counted, if I did enough. Anyway, with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.